Ever wondered what's the origins of Mimic's monsters? Well, in today's video, we're going to be going over Chapter 2, Book 2's All the Monsters. Let's get started. Bozus, known as Umi Bozu, in Jealousy's book Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, play various roles throughout the story. They initially appear in the beginning and end of Chapter 1 and later make appearances in the deep ocean as medicine killers, and mere observers in the kitchen chase sequence in Chapter 2. According to the actual legend, Umi Bozus are believed to be the spirit of priests who drowned and were thrown into the sea by enraged villagers. The gruesome nature of their deaths caused them to transform into these creatures. As encounters with these creatures are infrequent and almost always deadly, it's highly unlikely that their true origins will forever remain a mystery. Rin Tashuma is the main antagonist in the Mimic Book 2 Chapter 1, and she is responsible for the death of her younger sister, Mio Tsushima. Both sisters experienced starvation, and Rin's jealousy led her to consume Mio. However, Rin later discovers that Mio had been saving money for the both of them to get out of poverty, causing her to feel overwhelming guilt. As a consequence of her actions, Mio's mouth appears on the back of Rin's head, and they now share one body. Rin must feed Mio to avoid the extreme discomfort and pain. This two sisters' name means starving horse in Japanese. Also known as the Great Nur or Nur Orna, is a formidable antagonist in the Mimic. She is the confirmed guardian of Yoki Town, and the old man believes it's impossible to surpass her in one of the legends. Her character is heavily influenced by the yokai creature, meaning wet woman. Her appearance specifically resembles one version of this character, characterized by a snake's body and a woman's head. Shao Sai, also known as Kurobozu, is a gigantic monk and most likely a member of the cult that worships jealousy in this chapter. Shao Sai is based off Kurobozu, meaning black monk or black priest. The lore is unknown, but it's likely that this character was also an ashamed priest like the Umi Bozu. Takane, also known as another name, is an antagonist character in the Mimic. Within the game, it is revealed that the kanji symbol painted by Asumu, which means worship or yours truly, suggests a potential affiliation with the cult that worships Delacy. Based off the real-life legend that inspired her character, she was originally superhuman women that were cursed due to their involvement in some evil or misdeed. These supernatural beings would consume normal food during the day, but switch to lamp oil as substance during the night. Blind Witch or Uguro Batari is a character whose design is influenced by the female yokai, also known as the same name. This yokai is characterized by the distinctive feature of having completely blackened teeth. Someone didn't go to the dentist. The name itself translates to nothing but blackened teeth. Tsuka's appearance and association with this yokai reflect a reflection to the supernatural and add depth to her character in the story. Tsurunhai Akumi, meaning a hundred eyes, refers to a yokai creature that resembles this description. These mystical beings live in old temples and protect them from intruders at night. They have many sensitive eyes so they hide in during the daytime. Instead, they come out at night and find shelter in dark and rarely visited places. By carefully selecting their hiding spots, they fulfill their duty as guardians keeping a watchful eye during the night. Surprisingly, in the game, this character only has 15 eyes. Kishin means fierce god in Japanese. It's a word from Japanese stories and legends. It means a powerful god who is fierce and strong. It's often shown as a scary and impressive god with special power. In Japan's past, 
people respected and revered his shin. It also inspired many artists to create art. In traditional Japanese fighting styles, people would think of it to represent bravery. It's also connected to creatures like Mani and Yokai, who are believed to have the same qualities as this god. Kayogi is a character that was created based off a yokai creature called Tononi. Tononi means eyes on hands in English. It's a mysterious yokai with an interesting story. According to old stories, people think that Tononi is the ghost of blind men who were robbed and killed by mean criminals. This idea comes from a popular folktale. In the folktale, a man tells a scary story about a creature that had eyes on its palms, but not on its face. This strange description has made it famous for being creepy and scary. It makes people feel afraid and uneasy when they hear or see about it. Now we go into our main character, Enzukai. Enzukai is a creature from a story that was made over 3,000 years ago. It is the main enemy in the jealousy part of the story. According to the person who created the story, a bored and strange god made four gods because he wanted tools or puppets to use. Enzukai was sent to the bottom of the sea, and that's where we find it in this part of the story. At the end of chapter 1, we still see Enzukai tied up. Even though it is trapped, there are still people who worship it in a group called the Kira. Baraka. The name Enzukai means World of Flames. Up next, Kisho Nibo. Design is based off No Face from the movie Spirited Away. There's a scene in the movie where No Face becomes a big creature after eating a lot. It stands up and walks around, but it crawls when chasing a player. The name means glutton, which fits its personality perfectly. Players suspect that Takun and Shibo might be two young girls who ate way too much and turned into a yokai. In Japanese mythology, the Gashaduro are soldiers who died in battle or famine victims without proper funeral. Their souls became ghosts, forever longing for their past lives. They died with anger and pain in their heart, and even after their bodies decayed, their strong emotions remained. These emotions turned into a grudge against the living, transforming them into a supernatural entity. When the bones of many victims come together, they form a huge skeleton. They are essentially starving skeletons. Ryu, also known as the Red Light Green Light Girl, is a monster that appears in the Red Light Green Light Challenge within Jealousy's book Chapter 2. In this challenge, if a player moves during a red light phase, Tyru will swiftly eliminate them. The concept of this, and widely discussed, is from the Red Light Green Light scene from Squid Game, a highly popular TV series that gained significant attention when it was released in Netflix in 2021. <laughs> Ryoshi is a character who marks players with the kanji symbol meaning death in English when he catches them. The word Ryoshi translates to hunter in Japanese. It means hunting or shooting, while the other means teacher, master, or mentor. Hilliers speculate that Ryoshi was possibly an ugly man who worked as a hunter and was cursed to eternal punishment based off their theories. Chihihiro was presumably an orphan who was jealous of other children with mothers because she lacked her own. One day, a creature approached her and offered to adopt her. Soon, everyone distanced themselves from the young girl due to the fear of her quote-unquote mother. She may have become one of the Jealousy Cult members as she was seen to have an interaction with a creature that has a striking resemblance to Enzukai and one of the note in the playground. She's one of the only openly helpful monsters in the Mimic, showing she has a kind, considerate nature. She acts how a little girl would, wanting to play games with the main protagonist. She is also playful, childish, and attempts to help the player after their playtime. Her first name means a thousand fathoms in Japanese. Her last name means heavenly field. Kurakami, also known as mother according to Chihihiro, the girl we mentioned previously, is the monster in charge of finding players during the hide-and-seek game. The name means deep darkness in Japanese. She refers to her as her mother and then disappears the little girl. Her design is somewhat resembling of Haida from Among the Sleep, and her appearance during the note-taking phase is directly referencing the well-known Slenderman creepypasta. Well, that's all the monsters I have for ya. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to the channel, and I'll see you next time in next time's video.